everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to Alan, I'm going to be doing another Norwegian chocolate bar taste test. So let's get started. These chocolate bars, for some reason, are stuck together. I don't know why though, I'm just going to try and... Oh, it wasn't so hard. I'm going to try this one first and it's simply called Cuba. I love the way it's wrapped up like a little present, it's twisted on the end there. Ooh, it comes in gold foil. Oh, okay, it's a little bit melted, but let's have a look in the middle of it. What's that? Oh. Mm. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, it's actually quite tasty. I like the chocolate in this one. It's a milk chocolate, and on the inside you've got some crushed up nuts and a chocolate filling. I don't really know how they make the chocolate filling. I don't know what this chocolate filling is. Is it just chocolate truffle? It's like a fluffy chocolate filling. I can't describe it any better than that because I'm at a loss for words right now. But I really love the taste of it. It's really creamy, delicious, love the nuts in it. This one's a winner. Onto its mate, which is this one it was stuck to. It's called Goldbrug. This one is also a knitted chocolate. What are we looking at? Oh, why has everything been melted? Oh, what's that? It's not marzipan, is it? It is marzipan. Oh, no, no. If you don't like marzipan, you can't escape from it with this candy bar. Look at it. It's chocolate block full of it. The chocolate's actually been pretty melted, so it's hard to tell if that's a dark chocolate or a milk chocolate. I think because it cracks easily, that's a dark chocolate. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you love marzipan. I've never been a huge fan of it. Nida mocha truffle. I'm hoping mocha needs coffee. This is also a nida bar. Oh, okay, yeah, this actually doesn't look like it's in that bad a condition. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, can't really see much, can you? Mmm. Ooh, hello. That is yummy. It's got a lovely rich coffee flavour through it. And the inside is like a chocolate truffle filling. The coffee and the chocolate together with the truffle is a really good combination. It's really, really sweet, really rich. Oh wow, I could easily make myself sick on this one. Yum. Kinder Max, isn't that a German chocolate bar? I mean, Kinder chocolate bars are really adorable. How beautiful, and it's a nice size. There's not too much chocolate there. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing though. Milk chocolate, inside it's got this beautiful milky filling. Mmm, yum. It's a lovely smooth milk chocolate and I love it with that milk filling. It just sort of melts in your mouth. It's amazing, love it. Stratos, and it looks like it's a bubbly milk chocolate. I think it's similar to the Aero bars from the looks on the outside of it. <laughs> Oh. It's in nigh boblet form and it's got a cute little cow on the front of it. I think it's actually melted to the packaging. Oh, the drama of it all. Oh, got it. <laughs> it's very melted, but obviously it's a light, fluffy, whipped up chocolate bar. Oh. Mm. It still tastes good though. It's a milk chocolate and I love the light fluffy bubbles in it. It makes it more fun to eat. Very much like an Aero, but I like the chocolate better in this one. This one's called La Hair Grin and I'm a little bit worried that this one's going to be a marzipan one or a dog bone. Either way, it's a very sophisticated wrapping on this one. Oh, wow, that really does look like a dog bone. It's a little bit melted, but it looks still okay. It's quite an interesting looking chocolate bar, and there's some sort of a design there. It has the name of the company on there, and is this supposed to be something? I don't know what. I'm gonna break it in half to show you the middle of it. What? Oh, I was wrong. I'm often wrong, I don't know why I'm surprised. Yeah, look at that, it's got some sort of a creamy filling in there. Oh. Oh, it's rich. It's very sweet. It's a dark chocolate, but then it's got like some sort of a cream fondant that just oozes out of the middle of it. Hello. How amazing is that? It's pretty sweet though. I don't know if I'd necessarily go back for this one again. Torpress Cube. And I think I've actually had some of this one before in another form. And, um, oh, far out. <laughs> so you get two halves in here and I'm going to break it inside. As you can see, a little bit melted. 
Oh, can't do it. Oops. Ooh, it's got a lovely filling in the middle there, like a caramel-like filling. And as you can see, there's Rice Krispies. Mmm. Mmm. Milk chocolate, caramel and Rice Krispies. Does it get any better? I love the combination of the flavors of this one. Troika, as you can see, there's three different layers in there. And this one is Turkish Delight. Oops, it's a little bit melted. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it has got three layers in there, but one of the layers that I thought was Turkish Delight is more like a jammy jelly filling, a little bit like Jaffa Cakes. It's got an orangey flavour to it. Is there marzipan in this? There is, isn't there? Sneaky. Marzipan sneaked into this chocolate somewhere. It's one of those layers. So you've got dark chocolate, then that jelly orange filling, marzipan, and then there's another layer, which is, I don't know what that is. Is it a truffle filling? I'm not sure. I'm eating it and I'm asking the questions. It's ridiculous, really. I actually quite like the marzipan in this one because it's combined with all of those other things and it really tastes good all together. If this was here, I would have this on a regular basis. Yum. Nero. And this one says la carisse chocolate. Does that mean chocolate and licorice? I'm actually hoping that this is a licorice chocolate bar. Oh no, it's been a little bit melted as well. <laughs> Far out. Let's have a look at the inside of it. Oh, licorice. Mmm. It is such a shame that this has been heat affected and melted because I think I would have absolutely loved this one. Inside it's got a licorice jelly like filling which I really love but then it's also got the chocolate on it and the combination of the two would have gone so well. This would have been a candy bar that would have been my favorite. So I'm not gonna judge it on the quality of this one here, obviously, but I think that this one would be a winner for sure. Bria Mandel Stang. As you can see, it's got chopped nuts all over it. Oh gosh, how do you not lose half of it on the floor? On the floor. <laughs> look at that. Here, here. I like the look of it. Oh. Oh, I've gotten to this point in the video and it's enough chocolate. This chocolate has just done me in. The sweetness level on this is just crazy. It's got like a white nougat filling in the middle of it. The flavour is just sweet. Chocolate on the outside, nuts on it as well. I like the idea of it because it looked really good. To me, I thought that looks really pretty, but the taste of it doesn't stand out from the rest of the chocolate bars I've had today. Please let me know in the comments below out of all these candy bars, chocolate bars, which one looks like your favorite. Thank you so much, Alan, for sending me all of these candy bars. Amazing. Some of them are really, really tasty. Oh my gosh. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Alan because without him, this taste test would not be possible. If you want to support me and my channel, please remember to give this video the thumbs up, share and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Have a great week. Bye.